Good morning, 644 back here on Sunrise, counting down now because the 2018 Winter Olympics in South Korea are officially one month away. And of course, you can catch all the Olympic action right here on Channel 13. And that includes the figure skating events, which always provide high drama, a lot of controversy, <laughs> right? Carlos Diaz is live on the ice at the fuel tank in Fishers with more. Carlos? Yeah, some guys from the Fuel are actually behind us practicing right now. They've got Olympic fever. They can't wait to watch the U.S. hockey team. We'll talk about to them in a second. We're here with Alex Judd, who is a competitive figure skater, who is our expert here on Channel 13. And there was some controversy because Nathan Chin won first place. Everyone expected that. But Adam Rapone did not win second place. He got fourth place, and yet he's still on the team. How did that work? You know, it's not just one competition that this committee looks at. They look at many things. They look at your national success, which Adam has had. Ross had a great performance at nationals, but just unfortunately hasn't done that well out, you know, against the world's best skaters. So basically, the committee said, even though Ross Minor came in second, mm -hmm. we're going to keep him off the team and put Adam Rapon on. You're looking at a video right now of Nathan Chen, and he's got a very interesting kind of pre-match uh, ritual, pre-competition ritual. He watches Netflix and YouTube to mellow himself out, but then he told us us, as it gets closer to competition time, he ramps up the music. Take a listen. As it gets closer to competition time for, for performance, I'll listen to something, some more like rap or like Eminem or something that will get me really like uh, rallied up and um, I think that works every time that I've competed and it's something that I'll continue to do. You just have to build yourself up to that moment of peak performance. So Alex, Alex, what are the three things we need to look for with the figure skating, not only with the men, but the women and the, and the, uh, and the ice dancing as well? For the U.S., Nathan Shen, so many quads, he's a favorite for the gold medal. Uh, number two, Mariah Nagasu on our women's team, triple axel, hardly any other woman does it. She does an amazing job at doing that element. Uh, three, our ice dancing teams, all three of them have a good chance of getting a medal. Okay, and real quick, we got Brent here from the uh, Indy Fuel. Uh, you're into hockey fever, correct? You watched the, the how, how do you think the U.S. hockey team not having their NHL players there is going to affect the hockey team? I think this year it's going to be a more wide open tournament than we've seen in uh, the last handful of Olympics with the uh, NHL not sending players. You're going to see pretty much the entire U.S. roster, the, pretty much the entire Canadian roster would have come from the NHL. Mm -hmm. So now U.S. just announced their roster, I think, last week. It's all American Hockey League guys, minor league players, uh, college players, guys playing in Europe. So it's going to be a different level of play that we're used to, that maybe this is a year where a team like Sweden, Finland, uh, Germany can step up and kind of make something happen. So All right. it's going to be a wide open tournament. All right, Brent, I really appreciate it. And Brent, by the way, you saw she pushed me when I fell last half oh, hour. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you got I tried to help you. <laughs> Let's go back to the studio before I fall again. Guys, back to you.